His death sparked protests, arrests, and even change within the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office. It has been 10 months since John Neville died in the Forsyth County Jail. As the six staff members charged prepare for their next court appearance, Neville's family is still fighting for justice. For the first time, his children sat down with WFMY News 2's Marissa Tansino. The Neville family says it's been a long road of grieving and trying to heal. Through the pain, they're seeking justice for their father, but also for others, hoping what happened to their father doesn't happen to anyone else. Dad is charming. He's a very charming person. <laughs> he knew how to work a room. Mm -hmm. That was, it was always a, a sight to see. While most know John Neville as the man who died in police custody, Bree and Sean Neville know him as dad. The only way to really describe him is to look at each of us. Um, I've said many times that I think each of our siblings is a testament to one particular part of him or more than one. Those parts were taken from them last December when Neville died following an encounter at the Forsyth County Jail. Body camera footage showed Neville held down by staff struggling to breathe. Over the next few months, the Neville family would grieve privately while desperately trying to figure out what happened to their 57 year old father. It's hard enough for us not having answers, but now I'm trying to explain to people who loved him too. Yeah, he's, we're pulling the plug today. We don't know why. We didn't want this out until we, re we really knew what happened. And so it was just one of those cases where it would have been worse for the family, worse for us if we're finding out along with the rest of the world. Forsyth County Sheriff Bobby Kimbrough says he respected the family's wishes. He wasn't immediately available for an interview, but told us his thoughts and prayers will and always have been with the family. They say it wasn't until summer, six months after their father died, that they saw the video that captured the moments leading to his death. It took a lot of mental preparation, meditation and breathing and just trying to like calm myself down because there's no way to prepare to watch someone die, let alone someone that you cared about. You're hearing these people who didn't know this man say, I watched that and, and I cry. And you're like, okay, well, so this is gonna be tough. And so just hearing that and knowing that I kind of put myself in the mentality that however bad I think it is, it's probably gonna be worse. Protesters erupted in the streets in Winston-Salem, demanding a change in policy. At the end of August, Sheriff Kimbrough said he was banning the bent leg prone restraint, a tactic used on Neville the day he died. The Neville family says they're happy to see the change, but the battle will go on. The changes won't be made in silence. They only will be made if we speak up and actually demand for change. Unfortunately, the story might move on, but for us, it's... It's not over. In Winston-Salem, Marissa Tansino, WFMY News 2.